tablet. And uh, and it was like the one that we had on. I'm like, oh, we look worse than robots. Yeah, we had to, we had to, so. we've never done Google Meet. So when Hansi uh, was like, yo, we don't do Skype. That's not what we do. I was like, oh, okay, we'll figure it out. So we, I think I, last I didn't night, even I, didn't... Know, I didn't even know Skype still existed yeah. at this point. Does anybody use really? them? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. Us, us old friends. <laughs> like, 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 like instinctively, that's the like first like what's only thing we use just because it always it's hey, it's free, you can record. So I'm like two hours last night, like okay, uh, figuring it out, and then I had to realize that to record to get that you have to pay like twelve bucks a month. So I'm like twelve bucks, let's do it. Let's let's oh, get the old oh, really? get the old, yeah, get the old credit card out. I I'm like you just you know recorded. yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're throwing money out the yeah, window. Just, no, yeah. no, no. We just, I know that I messaged you guys. I think I messaged you guys a while ago, and you're like, "Yeah, we don't do podcasts." And I'm like, "Okay, that's cool. We'll just, we'll just, <laughs> that's all right. I'll just be, a, we'll just be a fan." We just tell the sponsors, "Hey, got up it up, got up at this shit." But I just want to say again, hey, thanks again for like saying what's up and say thanks. So yeah, I know you guys are busy. Oh yeah, no worries. Yeah, yeah. we tend to to not. Uh, participate because it seems <laughs> like it just takes more of our time but yeah. it's, it's also fun to yeah, speak to other people once in a while yeah, <laughs> yeah. all the way from canada that's yeah. really cool that's awesome where in canada yeah. are you so uh, are you familiar with the provinces we're from ontario near toronto okay okay yeah cool. yeah have you guys ever been to canada toronto no we haven't, haven't been no? no all right that's we'll okay go later this year we'll see yeah yeah, that's all right. We haven't been in Norway, but we might be there this year too. No, we'll no, see. No way. No way. Really? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I have to ask my wife. Just seriously though, like Norway is so beautiful. Like it seems like such a beautiful place to live. Like, my God. It is very beautiful. It's but it's also very expensive. So it's like oh. it's a trade-off, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So At least that's guys, what I keep hearing. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, like so, but no, no, that's okay. I, I I've heard that too. I've heard like like you know like first world country like norway i think it's because of the beauty maybe because of the tourism like i think that's probably why it makes it so expensive do you guys have do you guys have snow as long as we do like from like october kind of till february yeah to february I, to that's, if it's if it's stops least, in february yeah. we're really lucky yeah. usually oh. the snow is gone in april yeah or, yeah late march oh, wow. early april something like that but i guess that's why you guys get all the olympics though right so do we? <laughs> we haven't done any Olympics in. Oh, you mean the medals? Oh, yeah, yeah we're really good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys kill it. You guys kill it down there. Just, yeah. Really <laughs> as long as we beat Sw Sweden, everything is all right. Yeah. Oh, is that is that the thing? Is that like Sweden's like your? Uh... Oh yes. Oh yeah. Of yeah. course. They oh, always get so mad when we beat them as well in, yeah. in ski sports. <laughs> I know, I know for hockey for us, as you probably know, hockey is like a huge thing for Canada, but like for us, mm -hmm. it's like the United States. Like we got to beat the United States <laughs> in hockey. So probably if like Norway, do. if Norway smokes us in hockey, we're like, yeah, you can have it. We don't care. Like that's cool. <laughs> that's that's we, we, yeah, yeah, that's fine. We just, we just start talking. Like, yeah. not at hockey actually, but, yeah. but I think Sweden is up there. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, but mm. I think in the we're on, like in the juniors, I think it's more of a thing, is it? Or do you can hear, you're more of the hockey guy. What's what? Norway for the juniors. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, they're usually really? really good, and it's like, oh yeah, and like in like the Russia's, they're on their way up a little bit because like, they got that controversy. Isn't one of the guys from uh, the guys uh, from Toronto? Isn't the guy from Norway? The young guy. The young guy from Toronto. Um. I can't remember his name. I don't know hockey. I'm not a hockey guy. This is not my thing. So me neither. <laughs> I don't, I don't anyway, know what not really. We're gonna, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move it's on. It's always nice when you play Jamaica. You know you're gonna walk all over them. Oh. <laughs> it's like the only ice they're seen is in the drinks. Okay. Anyway, let's get back on track, guys. Yeah. Uh, just as we only have an hour because we're attending yep. a dinner. Mm. Um, yeah, we only have an hour perfect. too. I yep. gotta go get groceries. And my wife's gonna kill me. I yes. gotta go back to bed. <laughs> yeah. So, so you got. So you guys have been running. So anyway, can I just let you guys inter introduce yourselves to our audience just for a quick second? Sure. sure. Yeah, yeah. It's always confusing when there's two yeah. people. It's very <laughs> you, you, you can do it. <laughs> okay. uh, so we're Hans and Martina. We run yeah. a YouTube channel called Nerdforge, where we yeah. create projects or we film us creating projects in the fantasy art tech realm. Um, yeah. And yeah, we create all kinds of things, really. You do. Like, I started watching you guys about three years ago when you guys are first uh, working on your uh, camper van. 
I think mm. it was when you first started doing. I know you guys finished up the 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 inside working on the uh, the kitchen about a year ago, but like three years mm. ago, I was the first time I watched that because I'm like obsessed with like getting a camper van. But that was like, I think one of the first videos I watched, which was pretty cool to see. I'm like, whoa, this is very gonna, detailed. If you're gonna build a camper van, one suggestion I have is to <laughs> is to uh, buy one that is a bit newer than 2006. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> it broke down, it last, broke down week. last week, and oh, it's no. like the fourth time. Yeah. So, so we're just gonna. Oh uh, no, this is this is it for it. It's super sad. It's like a, it's, it's like yeah. a sunken cost at this point. Yeah. So we're, it's been man. it's been a lot. So, pro tip: just get a newer van. Pro tip: it's more just sell it. Just it. sell it and call it one of those mini homes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just on, have to fix the whole stationary thing. portable yeah. mini home. <laughs> Yeah. Put it on blocks. It's park it somewhere. Put it on blocks. You know. Yeah, it's as portable as far as you can push it, right? It's yeah. yeah. Indeed. You you can even like take the wheels off, put it on a trailer, and then drag the trailer around. Yeah, that's, that's true. Good. I mean, it does work. Like it's still it's a flatbed. Still a bed right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I I was looking also like, have you got you guys have been doing the channel specifically for about six years now, right? Something like that. Yeah. So started how did this all how did this all start? Like I have you guys always been creative, always been about crafts and arts and like all the cool nerd stuff. Like I was just like looking through your videos and I was like looking like you've done like Harry Potter, Rick and Morty, Skyrim, like anything <laughs> fantasy. Like you have like you you're all over the place when it comes to like cool interactive fantasy like dioramas and like you know so dog, and dog armor. So how did yeah, dog armor. <laughs> yeah. So how did this all start? Like, how was this like? Uh, what was what's the genesis story of this? Um, well, the 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 truth is, we were students mm -hmm. and we watched a lot of YouTube, like creators. So at least in a maker sphere. Mm -hmm. And I, I remember specifically, like one night we watched. I don't know who it was. Yeah, the DIY Perks. Yeah. If you've seen that channel, it's a really good uh, DIY channel. And he had this uh, project where he made these glowing mushrooms and we were like dude Whoa. we could do this yeah we have to do that that looks easy so like <laughs> 8 30 p.m in the evening like a fall evening just windy and rainy we ran to the store and bought <laughs> silicone and we were students in like super a hyped 12 square meter <laughs> big apartment a student apartment and we tried to build this glowing mushrooms and it didn't work that well it was a disaster <laughs> to say the least it was just silicone <laughs> everywhere and it would it would yeah it was a mess beyond belief uh and mm. we didn't end up with any mushrooms <laughs> that was kind of the first time we tried to make something yeah. together personally i've been making things uh, most of my life mm. and you've obviously been yeah i've been painting. drawing a lot but mm. i haven't really yeah. made anything 3d <laughs> So yeah, and after that we decided we have to get better at this. So we uh, started recording it as well. Mm. I made a present for my grandma, which was an infinity mirror, and that was the first mm. project on our channel, basically. Yeah, yeah, with the lights, right? And then did like, like almost like a cascading kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Man, what were you guys in school for? Uh, I started Obviously to learn, but I missed. So uh, I have a master's in in history. Yeah, and I'm in computer science. Mm. Yeah, that really comes out like like so. It's a cool for you. I can see that that come out so frequently in your videos, like having a like a master's in history, understanding the history, getting that right, but then also having the technology behind that. Like it's a good you guys, you guys, it's a good yag. <laughs> you guys, uh, it's a cool pack partnership. Yeah, it works pretty well. It does. I think we complement each other. Yeah, I think so. Very well in, in multiple aspects. Mm, definitely. Yeah. That's rad, man. I figured you both were engineers. I was looking at this like I'm like, there's no way. There's no way. I saw your LED light one, and I was very impressed with myself. I made a wood frame and I glued like the the lights that were already put together on the on the frame. I'm like, I'm a fucking engineer, and I look weird. I'm like, I ain't doing shit. You're like, nah, I get. But to be fair, though, I think anyone can learn anything on the internet now. Like yeah. YouTube has everything, basically. Yeah, you guys are absolutely right. It, and and I've seen so the like the transition from like you know just making like not that it was simple like the infinity light to like the things you can make like like I remember watching that dagger video where it took you so long mm -hmm. and then you had to put it together but then take it apart because the light wasn't working and then resolder this it's like it like on a regular video I guess depending on what you're making like how long does it usually take to from start to finish like a project I guess like if you're just like I'm just gonna start a project. 
Like, how long is this going to take? Well, nowadays we spend, we usually have a time frame of two to three weeks uh, on one project. And that is us, two of us working like, I don't know, 10 hours a day, something like that. Uh, so oh. yeah, it, it does take quite a bit of time. Man, but we didn't use to use that much time. No, no, no. Back in the day, we spent a weekend. Yeah, yeah. Something. It's, I mean, Just... after this is after we started doing it full time that we did these, started doing these large projects. Yeah. So this, uh, the channel is your first full time gig now. Yeah. Now. It's been for two years. Yeah. yeah since uh, yeah. COVID, basically. Yeah. <laughs> so was that like, so was it was it just before COVID or like COVID happened? You're like, okay, let's just yeah, jump right that, in. Or like, that was purely coincidental it? because I was yeah. still full time and I had already given my, like, what do you call it? Like my uh, notice. And or... in, uh, yeah. So they didn't want me to leave. So I got a one year, like, uh, unpaid leave. So I still technically had a job, hmm. but right when I left, like a month after COVID hit, I, re I strictly remember during lunchtime, we were making fun of the, the HR, like the leader of <laughs> HR for using uh, this uh, antibacterial gel. Mm. We're like, oh, you think, do you think this virus is going to spread? And then that's the last thing I remember <laughs> from the job and then COVID hit and, and then we were YouTube full time. So that actually worked out really well. Yeah, man. We're lucky. <laughs> We've we've talked to a couple people who've like have been on YouTube and like have turned their like like uh kind of like their project like um, side hustle side kind of. hustle kind of thing, and it, what like like they were like like our friend we have like a friend DJ Rick Webb is like a, a YouTube DJ guy and so like that kind of like transition from like the regular nine to five to mm. his passion project like he would like just like that discussion around like. The feeling of that it was it was a feeling of freedom and excitement mm. when you got out of the nine to five. Like, what was that like? That transition, just like to full time YouTube. Um, well, for you, it's kind of strange because you never worked actually. <laughs> no, I actually never <laughs> did. Like uh, right after I finished my ma my master thesis, I just did YouTube. So I finished my thesis. I was like, okay, I've been doing this YouTube thing as a hobby for three years now. Let's just mm. let's just try see what happens. And you had a full time job, so it was like. It wasn't that big of a gamble to do it or try to do it. And then I did that for a half year and then you joined. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was very strange to <laughs> say, hey, bet, bet. yeah, guys, I'm going to do YouTube. <laughs> and in Norway, that is kind of unheard of. Oh, yeah. Like in, in I think the US, it's kind of more of a, like a plausible thing. I think it's the, this entertainment mm -hmm. uh, branch of the, the culture is a lot bigger and yeah, there's a lot of full-time YouTubers mm. in, in the US. In Norway, there's only a handful. <laughs> yeah. So oh, really? it, they're few and far between. So so I, I don't think that was very expected from our from my, oh, my no. boss. <laughs> Definitely not. So you guys are the pioneers of your market then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there are there certainly are YouTubers before of us. Yeah. Of course. But, but I think it's more common to like influencers in Norway. I think there are more bloggers. Uh, mm. that are on tv and they have like actual blogs you write mm. <laughs> and read um and not that many youtubers there are some of mm. course in norwegian many of them not enough to prime our parents and grandparents yeah. for <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly i'm sure that was yeah. a fun conversation over the dinner table so i'm quitting my job and <laughs> you know like you remember yeah. those mushrooms that didn't work out so well <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna do that, but all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll work out. I yeah, promise. Yeah, that'll work out. No I think one of my favorite things about your videos, it's not just like you guys create amazing, awesome, beautiful things. It's also the quality that you put into like the content and how it's all put together. Like that's not an easy thing. Like Ernie and I, like we like we've had people comment like you guys just sit there like on our videos like when we're doing like you know like just like our regular like this for instance. Be like you guys just sit there. Get some lights or something i'm like yeah we'll do it once in a while like but like for us it's more like the audio but for you guys it's cool like you make these like i said beautiful amazing things but you also piece it together so amazingly like you guys have to know that thank, thank you. you so much that's, that's <laughs> really nice to hear we spend a lot of time on it so yeah I it's bet. certainly difficult i think it's very hard to construct a consistent narrative that mm -hmm. really pulls the viewer through the video when our time frame is three weeks. It's yeah. hard to remember like where is the viewer <laughs> now when the last time we actually talked to the camera or Martina talked to the camera was a week ago yeah. in real time. <laughs> so, wow. so then it's like, okay, what did I say last time? It's been one week. 
hold on. <laughs> Man. When you guys do your videos, though, everything seems to go so well. Now, I know for me, every time I start something, as long as I didn't cut my foot, cut my hand, <laughs> or cut something else that wasn't supposed to be cut, it was a good time. Now, I wondered, though, like if something went wrong while you were doing it, would you still record it and then put it out like that? Or would you edit that stuff out and be like, no, it went fine? That sounds like a, a how safe are you question. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we try to always film things that go wrong. It's um, Yeah, it's a bit hard to, like, if we film it, we definitely include it. Yeah. So, yeah. so that's the thing. But also during the course of three weeks, we're not filming everything. Mm. So there might be mm. things that happens that yeah. we didn't record and it might not be worth like backtracking. Yeah, usually it's just minor things. If we leave it out, it's minor. Um, but mm. if it's something big, like once we did this uh, epoxy pour, that just went super wrong. It was epoxy all over the floor and the, the, the table. Oh. It was a total disaster. Uh, so that we did film. So like when there's bigger things, which I try to always include it. Um, but small things that can be fixed in two minutes is just like, okay, are we going to spend time yeah. on every single small thing? It's, that would take I was going to do a, I was going to do a, an epoxy pour over of a bar top. And I even just, mm -hmm. just something basic like that. I looked it up online. I'm like, there is no freaking way my <laughs> wife's going to let me do this. Cause like you say, it gets, it goes everywhere. Yeah. And, and to be fair, epoxy is awful to work with. It's it looks amazing and it, you can use it for so many things, but it's 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 like Satan's horrible. syrup. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because <laughs> it's amazing and so attractive, but also <laughs> it's toxic, not good for the environment. Yeah. But it's like everything no. bad wrapped in everything good. So yeah. It's, yeah, but it looks so cool though. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's, that's the problem. <laughs> You always see those like YouTube videos where they're making the tables and they yeah. pour it in. It looks so cool. So nice. But then they like when they're banging it out, it's like, oh my gosh, it looks so good. But one little leak and that just like, like yeah, yeah. I can only imagine. You got a volcano on your hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, exactly. I, so what inspires you guys for videos? Like, like is it just like you're like reading something or you're watching a video or do you follow like, is it like, you're like, you know, like for instance, like right now, Stranger Things is like a big thing. Is there like a trend that you see that you're like, hey, this might pull, is it, or is it more just like personal for you guys that you want to do something that you guys are excited about? I think it varies a lot. I think uh, it's all of those things. Yeah, all, okay. all okay. at once. <laughs> um, like sometimes we get ideas for projects from, things we enjoy like video games or books or whatever yeah. uh, other times it's just super random like i'll go for a walk in the forest and then it's like boom this idea super random uh came out of nowhere um and other times you know we see other projects and we think okay maybe we can do something like this but our way mm. if that makes mm. sense so yeah. it really varies a lot that's cool i i i always like so it's like I'm a huge Harry Potter fan. So whenever you do like the bookends or mm. you're like you're creating like a, a scene inside, like uh, I know you've done like a couple dioramas uh, with like different things. And I'm always like stoked. And you always have like these like like again, going back to the video editing, the, the cool music involved. And sometimes you put like a, a clock in the background and then it's like spinning like crazy. Mm. You guys are sitting there for like 14 hours. <laughs> but like I, I, Harry Potter videos are always like some of my favorites from you guys he wants to see more harry potter stuff is what he's trying to say <laughs> glad to hear it it's yeah. uh, one of the i think it's one of the more safe way of getting views on youtube is making yeah. something harry potter related <laughs> that's <laughs> always still harry potter man you got at least two canadian views anyway for yeah, sure, for sure. <laughs> just yeah. two it's not like it's like you know not like it's not like you're getting any more views from anyone else you know <laughs> so harry potter sorry no, no go ahead no go ahead no, Harry Potter stuff is always fun to make as well. So, are we yeah. frozen to you guys? Because you're, nope. you're frozen. No, I see our video. I can see it right now. I don't know what's oh, going on. Oh, what's going on? As long as you can hear us, I think we're cool. No yeah, problem. Yeah. We can yep. hear you. No worries. Well, it's probably just our internet is bad. <laughs> no, you guys are doing just fine. As long, I think as long as our audio is running, I think yeah, you don't really need to see us. Yeah. As long as you can see us. Nobody wants to see us. Yeah, exactly. We're not that cool. Um. <laughs> so, so the, a question is like, so I know a lot of people will like I ask. YouTube questions and people have to schedule so much involved. And I know you guys, like you just said, you did a three week schedule for specific things. How do you guys schedule like your own, like regular daytime towards like now that you're full time YouTube? Like, how does that work out? Do you guys use like a calendar? Do you guys use like a daily journal? Like, how does that work for you guys? 
Um, well, yeah, we have a calendar for work, mm. uh, basically, yeah. uh, which includes both work and personal life mm. in one, because mm. everything is kind of mixed together <laughs> a bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we, um, uh, what was the question? How we schedule things? Yeah. So how do you schedule like like away from the work to the, like just like the personal? Like how do you like? Because I like I know for me for like boundaries for work is a huge thing because you can just like bleed into your own personal time. Like how do you like how do you schedule that? <laughs> Right. Okay. That's yeah. a great question because, yeah. Do you want to? Yeah. I mean, we did struggle with that for a long time. Uh, mm -hmm. We just recently got this studio that we're in right now. And I think we've been mm -hmm. better at like separating work life from uh, off time after we got the studio because before we were in uh, Hans's father's basement. So it was like free time and work just kind of blended in together. Uh, all the time because you you never leave work when you work from home, right? Mm -hmm, right. Uh, mm -hmm. So it's become better, but I think uh, we probably still spend a bit too much time at work. Yeah, <laughs> and it, it's, you're never gonna be entirely uh, like off work. Mm. It's always something like you just published a video, and then we have usually have one or two days uh, free. But you're not really free because you have to pay attention to the click-through rate of the video. Mm. If the thumbnail is do doing good, and then if it, if it isn't, then you have to change the thumbnail or the title. Yeah. No way. Or the click-through rate. So, yeah. so there's always things <laughs> to do if you if you want to. And of course, it's fun to you know read comments and follow what people think about the video. So it's like you keep checking Man. Instagram, and then you check comments, even though it's your day off. You know, it's Man. always there, kind of. It, it sounds like it's like a super hard thing to decompartmentalize like the the mm. the regular days like i know you probably like wake up in the middle of the night like, oh my god did i do this like <laughs> yeah, yeah sometimes that happens actually but it's also i think it's a little bit different from regular work if you can't leave your regular work at work it's yep. i think that's more toxic than mm -hmm. not being able to to leave the job you created at work yeah. because it's it's so much of you into that already and it's what you want mm -hmm. to do yeah. So, so I don't think it's that that bad. No, <laughs> it's, yeah. it stops feeling out like work at that point too, right? Yeah. So. Exactly. Yeah. And also, we're both kind of in on it. It mm. would be different if one of us was constantly like in this other world yeah. uh, when yeah. the other one was not. But mm. we are kind of we're you work at the same workplace basically. Yeah. So, so we're in this bubble together. Do you think that owning like having your own space now, other than just doing it in your basement now, is like kind of yeah. created more of a like it kind of you feel like it's kind of it's moving into a different area and it's kind of created more excitement than when you had it in the basement or is it still kind of still the same i think it's uh i think it's yes and no yeah like it's both mm -hmm. because you can become more unrelatable once you mm -hmm. have like a more professional setup so we struggle mm -hmm. to kind of keep it relatable and down to earth and not over the top yeah i think also yeah. at the same time it's like we're not as limited as before because because we have more space. Uh, like mm -hmm. before, I would, if I move things around in the basement, I would just dunk into the ceiling and the ceiling would just start like crumbling down <laughs> and we couldn't build <laughs> bad big things, you know? Yeah. So we have more options. Yeah, now. I remember specifically one of the res resin pour videos oh, God, where, yeah. uh, where you close the door <laughs> to the basement and it started drizzling from the ceiling. Oh, oh no! <laughs> That's like the worst nightmare with resin is getting things in it. Oh, like a little so bit yeah, we don't it. have that problem anymore. <laughs> if you maybe like when careful closing the doors unless it's like a snow scene. You know, like make sure mm -hmm. that you know add a little bit of white dust. Yeah, yeah. Somebody <laughs> pat the ceiling. And it's like yeah. okay, yeah, make it snow, make it snow. snow now. Yeah. <laughs> I also I love the videos where you guys go out like I know you guys recently did um you guys went like clamping or glamping uh out mm -hmm. in like the mountains stuff and you're doing portraits and painting like that must be like a like we have like cool scenery like that in Canada like but you have to like go really really far mm -hmm. like what is that for you guys like making the videos you guys are out like I know I think I I think it was Hansi was it me I was messaging you on the Instagram and you guys were like we're off we're camping we're not even home I don't even have the calendar in front <laughs> like so so like what like is that fun like obviously it's fun but like what is that like doing the videos off campus kind of like idea uh, in my opinion those are the best ones <laughs> like any excuse to get out of the studio and do something different is great i think mm. i think so as well 
it's uh, the best when you kind of manage to merge uh, exploring something mm -hmm. with our channel concept. Yeah, and it's That's cool. not something we can do every day, but definitely when it works out, it's it's great. Oh yeah, and I'm also so glad we got to do that video before the <laughs> the van broke down. Yeah, that's true. Oh, we guys would have been stranded. Like, is that how far you guys are out? We would have like been... Norway. I mean, like geography is kind of like people live everywhere. Yeah. So like everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it's not like in Canada where you can go miles and miles and mm. miles before you see like anything else than forest. Because <laughs> yeah. we are kind of a small country, but people live spread out everywhere. Mm. Mm. So we would have gotten help, but it would have been a nightmare as well. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know recently. So on us on Friday for us, uh, one of our providers for internet for all of Canada went down. Uh, like Rogers, Rogers kind of like mobile. So even something as simple as like trying to figure out like our GPS was down. All the internet went down. The phones like you couldn't even call. So like I drove. You guys are familiar with Niagara Falls. You ever heard of that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it was like an hour and a half. It's like an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. I know. I know. I'm just saying. So like I think we fixed our video. Um. So it's like an hour and a half drive. And it's like, I was going to go to like this microbrewery, but I'm like, I haven't looked at a map in like five or six years. So I had to pull <laughs> a map out and like write down like, oh, I got to take a right here. I got to get off on like the QEW. But like, it's so, so weird. Something as simple as like falling off the grid is, mm -hmm. it's like, it kind of is a cool feeling. Like, it's kind of like, Do you feel like, like a caveman. Yeah. You kind of go like, it's like a <laughs> biological thing, but like a simple, like, Oh, my GPS is down. Like my first world problems. Like luckily we had like a parents that were like, here's a map dummy. You got to figure out how to use it. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for like you to start YouTube and like, this is fucking down. I'm going to have to learn how to start a fire with sticks. Yeah, no, no, it like that. <laughs> but it, I was just saying, it's like, it's so we're, we're not remote, but there are some remote places, but I was just saying in Norway, it must be, pretty amazing to have that landscape but then also to go out and like do all that work with the camera work and like work on the rain you know what i mean like sleep in a tent mm -hmm. like that's just it's just looks like a cool experience that's all i'm saying it's super yeah. awesome yeah. and i think norway is great for experiencing nature that way because mm -hmm. i imagine it's very similar in for instance new zealand but mm -hmm. i think you have to like plan an expedition for a week to to get to those places mm -hmm. whereas here you can basically drive up to the point where you are in a national yeah. park and you leave your car and you can walk for yeah. a day maybe and then you're basically in the middle of nowhere and it's beautiful everywhere yeah i mean yeah. There, there are roads everywhere yeah which is uh, so it's really really easy to access any sort of nature mm. yeah how did you how did you bring your dog along yeah, yeah. we did mm -hmm. he had a great and time how, I think how long have you guys had that dog for uh since, since january january yeah oh so he's new yeah. He's only eight months old. Yeah. <laughs> oh <very> boy. <laughs> has he has he gotten into any of your projects? You're like, hey, don't get 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 out of there. Oh he, every he, day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I He's bet. like running off with small things that I need. <laughs> if I drop it on the floor, I don't see it again. I have to like chase him. <laughs> oh, but it, he's usually just very sweet and calm, I think. Like most of the day. That's cool. What what kind of sorry? I I don't like. Is he like an Eskimo kind of dog? Like like he kind of looks very fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> he's an Icelandic sheepdog, yes? but he's okay. fluffy. He's fluffy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think they are par partially what do you call it, like yeah, polar dogs or yeah. whatever. Like they are yeah. prepared for winter and enjoy winter a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I got. I have a Siberian Husky myself, so they all kind of oh, really? look very similar in like their ways well like in canada it's like the perfect dog to have because like we have three months of like warm weather and the rest is cold and that's mm -hmm. just you know sucks so i have a dog who's like let's go outside it's negative 20 like celsius <laughs> let's rock and roll yeah. yeah you know what i mean yeah, yeah. yeah so do you guys do you guys watch so what like besides obviously you guys get like all your like videos and stuff are inspired by other things. So what do you guys watch on your like your downtime that you guys hang out and be like, let's watch a cool movie? Like what are, like is there like a YouTube channel that you guys like love? Is it just all DIY stuff? Mm -hmm. Like we watch a lot of YouTube. Yeah. We don't watch that many movies. Like yeah. we do when we have time, but especially if there's something new that's really good and yeah. but it's not what we typically do. No, it's mainly TV series and, and YouTube. Yeah. I yeah. think. Um I don't know, like specific channels. Uh, we we to... watch a lot of different yeah. things. Like we watch, like <laughs> yeah. uh, what do you call it when it's something that's not very smart, like you know, <laughs> fail videos. Fail PM and A podcast. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. yeah basically like trash tv on yeah. youtube like meme compilations <laughs> has happened and and yeah. the commentary channels yeah, we yeah. like a lot but also i and you tend to also watch a lot a lot of the more uh what you say like more good well produced mm. diy stuff right mm. yeah yeah I'm a, I'm a big fan of watching like stealth camping videos. You yeah, and you like that one with a guy building a log cabin too, yeah. don't you? Yeah, I, I'm a huge fan of like watching a video where someone's like building something, and like mm. it's not always involved with like audio where someone's like talking a lot. It's almost like that ASMR aspect where they're just like cutting down a tree, and like I think it's yeah. I think primitive like, technology. Have you seen that guy, the Australian guy? What's what's his name, sir? What's it called? Pr primitive technology. Oh, that sounds familiar. That does sound familiar. There's yeah, a lot okay. of like primitive technology channels out mm. there that are faking it, but he's I think oh. the biggest one, and yeah, and he's it's just him and he's time lapsing everything he does or ma filming it, so it's he's totally legit and mm. it's super cool. Like he builds his own tools from scratch and no clay way. bricks from scratch, and even I think his latest videos he managed to create a metal like knife. And this is from scratch, like mm. for he has nothing to begin with. So that's really cool. Man. It's like those guys that make those pools in India. Yeah. Yeah, they, those, those, those are the fake there. ones. <laughs> are they? Are they, are they really? Yeah, yeah. You should, uh, if you go to <laughs> YouTube and you, you look up Sunny V. Is it Sunny? Sunny V2. Sunny V2. I think? Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a commentary channel and it totally debunks all these. Uh, that's mm. cool. They got a fucking excavator in the back just yeah, waiting. Yeah, 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 yeah they, 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 they like, dug it by hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's a whole team. Like, <laughs> in his video, they got 20 yeah. guys. That's bullshit. Yeah, they have like a whole where you can actually see the excavator. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> that right. fucking ruined it. Yeah. Game over. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> And the water I, I in the was, pools are, is always a little bit too blue to be yeah, natural. Yeah. Mm. Like everything. <laughs> think now. Oh, where did the water yeah, come from? I There's know. no hose. That is very true because that clay is dirty as shit. And somehow that water comes out <laughs> as clear right? as ever. <laughs> Maybe that's, oh, like, I don't even want to get into it. I don't believe anything <laughs> anymore. No. <laughs> nope. Turn out, just throw your phone in the water. This Go is over. planet bullshit. Um, <laughs> one of my that, favorite what? YouTubers is a guy called Chris Harbour from, mm -hmm. he's from Wales. Uh, and he, I, I've been watching him for the last four or five years. Mm -hmm. I think he's almost 300,000 subscribers now, really grown. But what's really cool about his videos is that he shows how he basically built everything that he lives in or works with. So he started like basically commuting to this, uh, this little land that he bought. And he's put up his tent and he built like a log cabin out of logs and uh, basically the, the clay that mm. he found there. And from from that he went to live there, and he set up his own like water uh, generator yeah. in the in the small little creek he had by his house, and then solar farm. And now he's built a huge workshop where he's gonna like he has plasma cutters, and everything is run off his water yeah. and solar, it's and it's so really cool. Lovely. What was it? What was his name? Sorry, Chris. What? Chris Harbor. Harbor. So Chris with a K. K R. Yeah. We're gonna have to reach out to Chris. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was a question I was gonna have for you guys. Like after at the, I know some of the stuff that you've made, you've like donated and like like to different like uh like hobby shops and stuff like that. Like, what is there is there ever an intention to be like I'm gonna make something to give to someone? I know you've done um like Martina. I know you've done like sneaky like murials on people's rooms yeah. where they show up like, what did you are... say murials murials <laughs> murials Isn't that you like... did a mural not a mural <laughs> a mural I think, I, I think that's, that's a that's the norway wait, 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 that's wait, wait, the norway wait, wait. way of saying Isn't it right <laughs> no it's not oh it's like deer, i'm pretty deer, sure you fucked deer. that one up right, sorry yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah this is this is our evil banter. good sorry. job with the murials <laughs> thank you um no, I forgot what I was gonna say, you asshole. Thanks a lot. Did she was doing the <laughs> murials? Um, no, I lost it. Yeah, I forgot what I was gonna. That ask. she was doing the sneaky murials. Yeah. In people's rooms. Yeah. The the many murals, not murials. Yeah. I murals in people's I, rooms. I forgot what I was gonna say. No, you totally interrupted me. Thanks a lot. Um, geez. No, I think okay. So that's what I was gonna say. Were so you like, gonna ask them to make you something for Harry no, Potter? Is that what you're no, gonna no, no, say? No, no, no. So, so, <laughs> so all the creative things you make like what what do you guys do with it do you guys put it around your house like you must in like in like 10 years you guys are gonna have all this cool stuff like this whole like <laughs> like you could have like a museum like you know what i mean like yeah. what do you guys yeah. what do you guys do with a lot of it well we we've kept most of it 
Uh, most of it is displayed in our studio. We have That's some rad. things in our apartment, uh, but some things are just too large <laughs> to be displayed. Well, yeah, um, they're in our uh, warehouse basically. Yeah. yeah. So uh, that... yeah, we we tried contacting like a children's hospital if they wanted to take the big castle, but yeah, it was too big for them. <laughs> it's too big for them, wow. so it's like okay. Um, but also, it's the thing about social media. It's like yeah. you never know when you have to just do some more content on it make a new post mm. revisit something and then it's nice to have it you know, yeah. on hand so so we tend to not give away mm. but it would be really cool like as you suggested to have some sort of project that were like we made something for someone yeah. who didn't know like this i think it's called the uh, ultimate fan builds or something that mm. used to be okay. a thing on, on youtube um but we haven't we haven't found the solution there yet but yeah it would be fun yeah, because yeah, they have that show on uh, on Netflix where it's like they these four guys they build things out of like wood and things like that. It's like out of their shop, and they have these kids call in and like they're they're talking to them live virtually, and they say like, "What do you want me to make?" And the one was like a a taco taco shooting out of uh, like a dinosaur's yeah, mouth kind of thing, and like actually. and then they what's that? I saw that episode as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 But I was going to say for you guys too, like, I'm really surprised that like local schools haven't had you come in and bring in like something you've made and then they, you play like your video of how you made it in the background. Like that seems like something that would like Pretty take off for too. you. Maybe, but then you also have the problem that local schools here speak Norwegian. Mm -hmm. And I think you have to go, uh, there's a, I think there's a very like, there's a age interval mm -hmm. where our videos <laughs> are super lame. So like you oh, have okay. to be, you have to be like, I, I don't know, maybe 10 or less, and then you think mm. it's cool. But when you're like 13, 14, it's not cool to for most people to make like fantasy stuff. Mm. And then I think it's reignited when you hit your 20s and you you, you think it's cool again. Yeah. And also, I, I think like, at least in Norway, there's very strict rules about um, how, who you can film and that you need permission from the parents oh. of the child to uh, put them on video if it's going public. So then we would need like a permission slip from every parent <laughs> to film their their kid if we were going to like a public school or something, uh, which would be awesome. But it's just a lot of like uh, what red would you tape, call it? like bureaucracy yeah, around it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, murals. Yeah, the murals of it. Yeah. <laughs> no, what I, what I was saying, like not even videotaping, like you guys doing it. I'm saying like just even bringing the diorama. Of, I'm hmm. sorry, I'm just calling it a diorama, but bringing in the uh, the the uh, project that you've made, and then in the background just playing the video of how you made it. That's hmm. all I was saying, like presenting it almost like uh, what's that? What's that called when you have? Uh, um at, at schools when you have uh, a presentation yeah like presentations but like when mm. you have like yeah presenters come in like even just doing that in school to show off like you know all the amazing things that you guys like, have made right? though, like some kids are like this is dumb i don't want to like watch this you know? <laughs> who doesn't want to see yeah well, who doesn't want to see mushrooms yeah exactly. light up like that was, <laughs> I, i'm 35 i want to fucking see that yeah exactly but they're saying that you get to a certain age and you like you like they're like okay this no is like, what else are they gonna do they don't want to do fucking math well, i remember i remember as a kid like so if we were in high school i would so we would got choices like this was like a really cool history class where the, the the teacher was like you can either do a paper on this historical thing you can either do like a presentation or you can make a diorama and i would always choose diorama but I didn't. Really, I think I would always like bite off more than I could kind of chew. It'd be like I would make like a war scene. I think I did one where I can't remember what Roman legion it was, but this Roman legion was just got like massacred. And as you know, Roman legions once they get killed off, like the number's done. Like they can't like replicate it or put more people into the. So I, I made one, and I spent like so many hours, and I probably invested at least like a hundred, two hundred dollars on it, and like cut out like the foam to make it like a hill and like i spent a lot of time handed it in my teacher was like uh can i give you 50 bucks for this oh like, he's like you want to really? cook it <laughs> yeah 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 but like and it was like, just 50 bucks this is 100 hours <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah but also he also gave me like an a plus on it because it was historically is like you know it was me me sitting there with like literally like i'm painting their faces with like a toothpick and i'm like just dropping it on there like just like painstakingly making it all but you know what i mean like so I don't, I don't know where I'm getting at why I'm saying this. So you made 50 bucks off your project. Yeah. So you guys can make 50 bucks off your projects is what he's getting at, I guess. <laughs> this is my turn into something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting the teacher's name. <laughs> You're retired. You're not making any money now.
<laughs> but I just mean like it was so it, like maybe I was piggybacking off that idea of showing kids, yeah, or like letting teachers like show other kids like how else to get involved with learning, like making a diorama and like showing them like what what's what's out there besides sitting there typing on a keyboard that you get more involved with your learning. You know what I mean? Well, maybe not in Norway because like you say the language barrier, but come to Toronto, yeah, a couple bearded idiots, we'll figure something out for you. <laughs> yeah, we have done a workshop with kids yeah, before, have, so so mm. it's not that far. It's really far fun, though. It's really fun. Mm. Yeah, I, I think uh, part adding that, I think you know, interactive education and like keeping mm. the kids like everybody's involved with their cell phones. They're like they have a tension spans of like two seconds. So like that being more of like edge. I don't know. Yeah, no, you so had you something did. there. Yeah, I did he did? All right, that was good. That's cool, man. I appreciate <laughs> that. Fifty bucks. <laughs> so I, yeah, thanks a lot. I, I wanted to ask this question too. As like you, as being like YouTubers, like you guys are, are you guys involved with that community? Is there like, is there a community of people that like make videos and like connect with each other, like going to like the YouTube cons and stuff like that? Is there like a, a like, what's that community like for you guys? Well, there is this, um, what would you call it? Like a conference convention, convention uh, yeah. in the UK that we attended this year, which is called Ma Maker Central. So there's like a lot of YouTubers in the sort of DIY maker sphere go there. It's basically like a bearded man wood turning convention, <laughs> but it's oh. also like, uh, no offense, guys. I'm sure <laughs> you're into wood turning. So. <laughs> you look like the perfect like attendees to to Maker Central. Yeah. Oh, wood turning really, was that you said? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really cool and it's very satisfying to watch. But yeah. it, there's a lot of like that demographic there. Mm. But it's also like uh, one of the few uh, places where YouTube makers tend to mm. go so we've been there a few times and, yeah. and met people yeah it was super fun this time to meet all the guys from uh, that we haven't seen in like you know two years hmm. yeah three years three. <laughs> so this has happened just recently yeah, yeah that was yeah. in may yeah okay, okay. Um, but other than that not much uh, i don't think there's like a, a platform where you can like talk to many other creators <laughs> unless you like I, personally contact them and try to add them or yeah. befriend them. We're not moving I, to LA anytime soon. So <laughs> yeah. yeah, don't no. do that. No, I wouldn't move to LA. No, no. no. Um, I just <laughs> I just like assumed that there was more. Like I know I, this might not be a thing. I think I heard this, but YouTube themselves want people to create content. They want you to create it. They want you to be part of like creating things is this true they want you to create they want you to make money is this like a, a vibe you get from youtube we never I like i heard that i, I, like I heard that somewhere. maybe but also i feel like we have never interacted in any way with youtube mm. so no it's a bit way. Hard. Oh. like there i don't think we ever like talk to anyone no. from you from youtube no, we <laughs> so so it might be the nordics that is kind of failing uh and following up on their yeah. creators i think maybe we are falling a bit between two chairs is that an expression in in english sure. is it i got you. i got okay. i know what you're saying yeah I got, so, you. I got you because we're norwegian creators creating in english so i think it's mm -hmm. um yeah maybe not maybe that's the reason but we personally have only been doing it ourselves yeah <laughs> not been in contact with too many but youtube is wow. a great platform like they, they do after all share like 50 50 of their revenue mm. generated from ads which is mm. uh, i think is a pretty good model and yeah. pretty generous wow that's that's cool to hear that on your end just as like being the size of the channel you guys are and like what you the time and the effort like you put in you're not getting 50 dollars from your history teacher you guys are like putting in, you know what i mean yeah. you guys are putting in all that work and it's cool to hear that you guys are feeling that positivity on that end of yeah, don't they give you like plaques if you get like yeah. like so many like we're almost there, you know? We no, no, we're not even close. No. But like <laughs> you get like the yeah. plaques, don't you? If you like, yeah, you're you at, get like the million plaques, views. But I don't know if everyone knows this because I think most people think they just show up on your yeah. door once you hit 100k subscribers. But <laughs> you have to go in and fill out like an order form and. Uh, and you have what? to write what channel name yeah. that is going to appear uh, on the back. So you could okay. just write whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and so I had to fill out manually our channel name and then you place the order with the address and everything. And, mm -hmm. and then it comes and it doesn't cost anything, but yeah. it's still like, it's still like, you know, it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a I'm going to order one. Let's order one. And Let's order say. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, you, I th I'm not sure you can order one before you. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, have the, have the thing. We got a Sorry, just place in Cambridge. Just make one. Yeah, we'll just make, yeah, we'll get one yeah, we got a guy. He makes plaques in Cambridge. We'll just get him to make one. Oh, God. Yeah, <laughs> like an off-brand YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to call it YouTube. We'll, we'll misspell YouTube. YouTube. 
You, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know. Not you, Lube. No. Nope. That's like, a whole like, different like, website. I'm thinking like, uh, <laughs> never mind. Never mind. I, I wanted, I know we only have like 15 minutes. You guys got to get out of here. Um, yeah. I don't, uh, so what, what is something going on right now? Like a project. I don't know if you guys can like let it, let it slip a little bit. Your this podcast will probably oh, drop Bobby. in probably about three weeks or so, but like, what is something cool going on that you guys are excited about that? Like you're working on. Well, right now, I don't want to spoil too much. Right, right, right. Don't spoil too I'm, much. Yeah. I'm having a lot of fun uh, on the current project we're working on because uh, I, I basically raided all the secondhand stores nearby to oh. buy all their toys, uh, like broken down right. guns and stuff. Uh, so I'm trying to like take all of that and make something cool with it. I don't want to spoil mm. what it is, but yeah, I think yeah, it's don't, really yeah. cool. But, but there is something you're working on that's cool that you just like, yeah. Yeah, and we have another video in the works that uh, allows us to go outside the workshop so I'm pretty excited mm -hmm. about that as well. Oh, again, don't want to spoil too much, but uh, we have yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. plans. Yeah. Whatever you're doing, you're enjoying. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> that was going to be one of my questions too. Like for all the products that you have for like the videos that you guys use, like is it pretty like on hand? Like do you have to Amazon a lot of that? Like where do you source a lot of the stuff that you get from? Are you pretty close to like a home? Oh, market? that's yeah. a good question. Um, well, Norway is really bad at like having stores that have very specific things uh mm -hmm. so i think most of the supplies especially like the electronic stuff and, and, and things like that we have to just order online i think like 90 percent mm -hmm. of the materials we use we order online um yeah. and a lot of them are are from europe you know uh but it's not really an issue though because we can always order them the, the only problem is when we're in the middle of a project and it's like we need this thing today, <laughs> then uh, then it's a bit more stressful. Um, mm. Or to if get something hold bad happens. Thing. Yeah, you yeah, know, exactly. Yeah, gotta be like really careful. Like, oh, this takes two weeks to get here, and if I screw this thing up, then I gotta wait another two weeks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's that's gonna be stressful. Yeah. So, so it's more planning. Yeah, no uh, doubt. Very careful, very planning. But it, like you guys, with the product you guys do, it seems like you guys are becoming like experts. I get that vibe. You're like you, everything's planned out. Everything's organized. You're focusing on like cool things that you like to do, but like um, I get that vibe from like the channel. Like you guys, everything's very thought thought out. Very like you know what I mean. She said it's just good editing. They have the excavator in the background, just <laughs> yeah, wait, yeah. right? So yeah, you guys have a whole team of twenty guys. Yeah, like twenty guys. Years of it. We just hid them in the back so we can't yeah. see them. Yeah, right yes. I saw that. I saw them back there. I saw back there. Yeah. <laughs> No, yeah, we, we try to plan things as much as we can, um, but it's, it's very hard, I think, to plan yeah. everything because uh, the process changes, I think, often in the, in the middle of a project. So mm -hmm. usually we plan out like the intro and we try to get a hold of most materials we need, but there's always something that comes up in the middle like, oh, crap, we need this thing. We don't have it. Yeah. So. Well, I can say, you guys, whatever it is you're doing, you always make it look yeah. really exciting. Yeah, your, so your channel is awesome to watch, and like I've been a fan a while. And there's a so there's a young man. You got. I'm gonna tell you this cool story. So there's a young man that I uh, support. I uh, I do uh, work with people with autism, and uh, this young man he watches your videos pretty religiously. And he's so excited and so stoked every time there's like a cool video where it's an aspect of something like Skyrim or he gets so involved and he's like, look at the detail. Look how they did this. Look at the process. And so like you got to know that you have like an audience that just like it makes their day. They look forward to those videos coming out. And it's just like it's so cool to see like and that inspires them to go and try and do things. And you guys got to know that the channel that you guys have has like a reach and does so much cool things beyond just watching it. It inspires people so i just wanted to let you guys know that thank you that's really sweet <laughs> you have to yeah. tell him uh, we said hi um, yeah oh my gosh i will i'll show this video and i'll tell him what's up i'm like just because there's a privacy thing i can't put out his name but i'll of let course. him know that you guys said uh what's up say yeah. they'll send him like a sign something 50 bucks though yeah yeah exactly <laughs> no, 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 one no one rides for free <laughs> um i know you guys are gonna go for dinner you guys gotta get out of here uh it's watching the time so just like let people know how they can uh, get a hold of your videos, like check you out, like how can people get a hold of all your content? Just let, let our listeners know. Nerdforge everywhere. Nerdforge everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Basically. Yeah. Uh, Literally, you Google Nerdforge and everything comes up. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, it's basically. <laughs> but it's mainly a YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Nerdforge on YouTube. Yeah. Awesome. And you guys read the comments. I'm impressed. No way. Oh, we do actually. Yeah. I mean, I think it's fun. It's it's a good way to connect with your audience and just you know, get the feel of what the general uh what do you call it? Vibe. Vibe is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And and for us as like on this on this podcast, like PMA, it means positive mental attitude. So we like to talk to people that like put out that vibe. So us reaching out to you was like, I really wanted to hear your story because like you guys have fun. Like it's just like, you know, it's a fun channel. And like mm -hmm. I said before, it really uh, it does more than just put out content. It uh, interacts with people on different levels. And uh, yeah, you guys are for real. There's no excavator in the background. Yeah, yeah for you guys sure. are real. <laughs> yeah, we'll let them know, yeah. know you're real. Anyway, shove that in your comments. Yeah, our we, excavators uh, are super, super small, you know, they're quiet. Yeah, they're quiet. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah. the excavators. Yeah, you're like, okay, this is the hand. That's dumb. That's dumb. That was dumb. Okay. All right. We're going to let we're going to let you guys go. So you guys go into your dinner. But uh, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. Yeah, I think it's a lot of fun, guys. Thanks for having us. It's been awesome. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. say maybe a little bit later down the road once we uh, once you do your next project, we'll we'll sit down. Yeah, we'll and again. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Awesome. Awesome. When you're in, when you're in Toronto talking to all those kids. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. We'll talk Thank to you later. Thank you. Yep. See you. Bye. I'm going to end it. Don't worry. Okay. That was a good one.